This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 269 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by Eco Gold, high performance products for the ultimate in comfort and protection for your horse. Enjoy today's tip. I'm Glenn the Geek from Lexington, Kentucky, and you're listening to Horse Tip Daily, and welcome back, everybody. Well, today we have back with us Max Cochran. I don't even think I have to introduce her. She's been a regular on the show here on, on Horse Tip Daily and on the Eventing Radio Show. This tip is taken uh, uh, from Max's episode number 93 on there with Chris Stafford on the Eventing Radio Show. And, of course, Max is the longtime groom for international eventer Karen O'Connor, who is on her way to the World Equestrian Games this year. And uh, Max had an interesting tip we thought we'd uh, share with you off of that show, episode 93. You can find it at eventingradio.com. And one of the products that Max uses there at the barn with Karen O'Connor and those high-performance uh, event horses are Eco Gold saddle pads and horse boots. And let's hear a little bit about those, and we'll be back right back with Max. Well, you've heard me tell you about Eco Gold. Now let's hear from one of the professional riders that actually uses the products uh, every day in her professional career, and that is eventer, international Canadian eventer Jessica Phoenix, WEG hopeful for 2010. Let's hear from Jessica and see how she likes Eco Gold. I love EcoGold products. I've used their saddle pads and their cross-country and open-front show jump boots for over a year now, and I'm just thrilled with the results. They're very breathable. They provide great protection, and all of our horses have benefited from using them in competition. Well, thanks, Jess, and you can learn more about all of EcoGold's products by going to ecogold.ca. That's ecogold.ca. And, of course, Jessica Phoenix there is also a contributor to Horse Tip Daily. Well, now on to Max Cochran and Chris Stafford from the Eventing Radio Show, Episode 93. Max, um, you know, I, your tip this week is very fitting. because We have just had one blazing summer, haven't we? And, you know, the horses are going to get affected just as, as we do. So I think you've got some advice on how to protect them from the sun. But can you remember such a hot summer as this? Uh, no, I have not. I've been, this is my ninth summer in, in Middleburg and we had the first winter or summer I was down here. It was, it was hot. Um, it was fairly, we had stints of it being so hot, but I never remembered it being over 98 degrees this many days in a row. Um, and with the sun blaring and, uh, recently we've had some sun, but oh my goodness, or some rain, shall we say, but the, the sun has been blistering and every day it's, it's, uh, it's been a tough one. It, re- it really has. But as I said, the horses uh, can suffer from the sun, and I know you've got a great tip of how to protect them. Yes, for sure. I, the horses definitely, um, we have to remember that they get affected by the sun just almost as much as we do. Um, one good thing to remember is if you are leaving your horse out all the time or if in, in this hot afternoon blazing sun, having some sort of a, a shed or some sort of, even if it's just a lean-to, someplace where they can get out of the sun um, is a good thing because that sun can be really tough on them. Also, horses that have pink on their face, a white blaze or something to that effect, um, any horses that are grays that have that pink skin underneath, those horses really can get sunburned. Um, you may have seen it. They get these sort of red little um, rashes on their face um, and on their nose and stuff, and, and they can really get they badly sunburned. Um, great things to do. You can, I think they even sell um, some sort of... Um, uh, sunblock for horses, which I think on noses don't always stay. Um, what I do with my guys is I have um, a fly mask that they will wear, and they've got a purr that comes down right across their nose, so it ends right at the very tip of their nose, so they're getting blocked by the sun. I also try as I can to, you know, weather permitting, if it's too hot, I can't do it, but I try as much as I can to put on some sort of a, a fly sheet um, on my horses. Um, it, that way it protects their skin and protects them from the sun and from the bugs as well. Um, different companies make different ones. Horseware makes a great one that's got a um, part that goes right up across their belly to keep, protect their bellies from the bugs and uh, protect their skin from the sun as well. And a lot of times you can get, uh, you know, you see your horse, some horses, they've been out in the sun too much, their black tails get very, very sun bleached and they get that sort of red highlights into them. 
Um, a lot of times before big competitions, we will actually go and buy hair dye, nice and easy, near black, and um, <laughs> and dye their tails. Um, something definitely to do with some practice or to ask somebody how to do it correctly because it can go very wrong and you can really bleach your horse the wrong way. <laughs> Um, but it's something that we had to, I have done in the past to help out with that. But, um, you know, make sure that your horse is protected and has some sort of shade in their fields and um, and all that kind of stuff. And make sure you remember to put sunblock on yourself, too. Yes. Because you know, there's only there's only one, one layer of skin we can keep all the time. So, let's, um, yeah, we got to make sure we can protect ourselves. Now, fly masks that uh, that you do you use on all the horses and and are they just the eyes and and the ears or or are they the full face I have face? ones that cover their face and their ears they're gray I can't remember who makes them I, I think it may be Cashel um they do from their ears and across their eyes and then they have a piece that goes right down across the front of their nose Yes they they yeah. they look wonderful they give them total protection don't they total protection and and the flies because the flies a lot of times will just like to nest right up the, right below their where the other fly masks and they like to sit on right on the top of their nose so um all my horses wear them um even the we try as we can to keep them on the young horses that we have up here but they think that they're really fun to play with and rip off each other so try <laughs> as we may to put them on at least for a little bit yeah, but that's that's great advice. Well, hopefully we're coming towards the end of the summer here, Max. It has to call off sooner or later. And I know Kentucky, like Virginia, does rely on those thunderstorms coming through to clear the air a little bit. So uh, hopefully we can send a few your way. That would be, we'd really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the other downside to this, of course, is the footing, isn't it? And how we survive it, that, you know, and the horses survive this terribly hard footing. Now, do, what kind of arena do you have to work in? Do you have a sand arena? We do. We have a sand and rubber arena that we have here, and that, that works out. That's been fantastic for us, and um, uh, we've been really lucky to be able to do that. And we also have, we're really lucky that we have a gallop here that has um, pieces, like, bits of rubber that gets laid into it in the fall um, and then that way they um, it sort of um, the grass grows through it so it has a little bit of a cushion to it so we're pretty lucky to have that as well. Thanks to Max and Chris for allowing us to use Max's tips over there on the eventing radio show. We do appreciate that. And don't forget you'll be able to see Max here with her rider with uh, Karen O'Connor at the World Equestrian Games this year. We're looking forward to seeing them both in my hometown here in Lexington, Kentucky. Don't forget you can subscribe to the show through iTunes or Zoom, and you can also listen to it on the Hallway Feeds application uh, for the iPhone. It's an iPhone app. Just go to Hallway Feeds. Just search for Hallway Feeds. Download that uh, free application, and you can keep caught up on the latest news in the horse world. And you can also listen to all our shows streaming right through their application right there. And thanks to Hallway Feeds for putting that together. And don't forget to check out all the great shows on the Horse Radio Network at horseradionetwork.com. And we want to remind you to head on over to Facebook and search for Horse Tip Daily. Become a fan over there. We'd appreciate that as well. I'll be back again tomorrow with another new expert and a different horse tip. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Thank you.